Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today, let me start the Shabbat stuff. Mem Beis. We are going to begin on Mem Beis and Mem Aleph by the two dots, about six lines from the top. Chain Shir Kol Nashim. So, when it comes to a woman who is a Shemer Shabbat, we require her to wait for three months because there's a possibility that she may be pregnant, and then there will be a suffix if this child belonged to her original husband and the second one, and therefore to avoid this issue, which certainly could be a huge problem because it's a din of an Arab potentially. So therefore we have her wait for three months. So the Mishnah says this also applies to regular women as well. Before they get uh, married, we have them wait for three months. Now, Bishlam Yavama Kada Amr. I understand why you wait three months in that situation. We said already. What's the whole reason why we say this din also when it comes to other women? So Amr Nachman Amr Shmuel Mishum Diamakra. Because the Pasuk says, So it says, In order for you to be connected to Hashem and to your children after you, We want to be able to see the difference between one person and the other person's uh, children. Is this uh, woman's child from her new marriage or from a previous one? So in this Rashi says something fascinating. Only the ones in which there is 100% definitive knowledge of who the father is, that's where the Shechina is Shaira. As it says also in the Darim, Ayin uh, Shah. So in this, the Gemara asks the question. Therefore, Gervi Giyaris. Let's say you have a convert, man and woman. Um, so it says over there, you have to wait for three months. What is the whole distinction over here? Says Rashi. The question is, There's no first man and second man. She was only with one man. She was married. So it's true we're going to require them to do Kedushin because it wasn't, uh, they didn't weren't married as Jews. But nonetheless, she was only with him. So why would we require a Gernigurus to have to wait uh, for three months? So Sigmar says uh, as follows. When we, we want to be able to make a distinction between a child that was born with Kedusha and one who was born not uh, with Kedusha. Okay. And this is a question. Let's see. Question 13. After they convert. So that's one one answer. Let's see the second. The reason why we make her wait three months Shema Yises Achaisam Yaviv, because maybe she'll end up, he'll end up marrying uh, her sister from the father's side. So what does this mean? Says Rashi, Imni says Tach Shleisha. Let's say they end up getting when they convert and they get married right away. The Yold and they have a child. Vehu uh, Ben Tesla Rishon, and this actually this child was born. Uh, and was conceived before they were Jewish. Before they were Jewish, and then they were born. Um, this child was born afterwards. So what ended up happening? They will end up marrying from the first husband. So because of that, we have this concern, and that's why it's us to do so. We have to make them wait. This is how he writes it. Shema Muberes, he, maybe she was pregnant, this Gioras, v'hi tachshayv, and she thought, shenizra b'kedusha. She thought this child was actually uh, b'kedusha, this, that they conceived only after they were Jewish, which means... She is the she is of course the mother and this man's the father, and v'yavim echav is ishto, and the brother let's say have another kid. 
And then let's say this man dies. So the brother does Yibum with his wife. The problem is, V'shem apaga b'eshes ach min ha'aim. So it doesn't really say it so clearly, but when it comes to, again, Giyaras, when they had conceived before they converted, so the din is that this child, there's obviously a link to the, mo to the mother, but not to the father. So really, there's no chiv of doing yibum. So because there's no chiv of doing yibum, so if this man, boy dies, man dies, in other words, their child, after they got married, so people are going to think that he was actually conceived before, and therefore he was considered a ger also from, he, he was considered Jewish from the father's side. He was related, so to speak, to the father. But if, in fact, he was born only and conceived only after the conversion, so then we don't say he has a halachic status of being connected to the father, which means there's no dinibum. And therefore, his brothers, let's say he had, they have another kid later on, so that child's not allowed to do yibum. V'yabim meishas acha mi'imo. That's actually what the Gemara says here. That he did yib, uh, this other brother will do yibum with Ashus Achim, his brother's wife, Mi'imo. Right? Because a ger is only connected or related to the mother, not the father. So it's possible there's no yeet, there's no there's no dinibum. There's no dinibum because in this situation we're talking about where there's only a connection to the father, to the mother's side. So it's very possible you're gonna end up um pottering this person to go to the shuk. So when it comes to all these different things that we mentioned, there's an issue of tekanas, not tekana because of erva. But over here it's connected to the kid. We should say it's tekanas erva. So erva. I can understand why wait two months, but to not say, Lo, that you can't just do it that, waiting two months and getting married, no. The Hainu Sveka, Ibar Tisha Lakama, Ibar Shiva Labatra. That's why waiting two months is that suffix. El Tamtin Chedeshecha, and the Tina say, why don't you just wait one month? Why? Vila Shiva, if let's say she gives birth after seven months, Yolda Hai um, Bar Shiv Bar Shiv Labasrahu, then we'll say that she, uh, she gave birth, it was the second husband. Since it's an eight, let's say it's an eight month pregnancy, the child we know will not live, so it must be it's the second husband. Because it's not Shaykh for it to be an eight month pregnancy. Eight month pregnancy is considered to be a stillborn. Halakhically, it's either seven or nine months. Uh, who? The E Latamnia, as we said, if it's eight, Yolda. Hi Bartisha Lukamahu. It has to be the ninth. So you should only have to wait two months. E Namilatamni Yolda. If she gave birth at eight, Ikomaimer de Basarhu. You'd also maybe say it's the second husband. Dilma Ishtuye Ishtuye Khaida Shechad. The Abra maybe they waited a month and then she got pregnant. Betamtin Shnei Chadashim Umechsa Vatinase. Sigmar says, maybe wait two months, two and a half months. Why three? Deal with Shiva. If it was, let's say, a seven month pregnancy, Yolda, High Bar Shiva Labasra, then we'll say that, it, that she was um, connected to the second husband because it can't be nine and a half month pregnancy. Who? Deal with Shisa was six, Upala six and a half, Yolda, so High Bar Tisha. Would come ahu, then it's the first child, if, well, the first husband. D bart batrahu, if it's the later one, barshisu pagulachaye, it wouldn't be able to live at such a uh, being born so young. Inami, or you can say it like differently. Mashisu palga yolda. When it comes to six and a half months giving birth, iklamem or debasrahu. Maybe you would say, Takit's the second husband. Dear Mamar, Zutra, Bilamad, Dear Mamar, you let us. 
Latas and Yoledes, Lamikutoyin, Yolda, uh, Yolda, Lazain Yoledes, Lamikutoyin. When it comes to a nine month pregnancy, that is um, complete. However, when it's seven, it's possible it it's they'll it, ha, it will even be if it's mukutayin. So again, it's possible even if it's not complete. Shnemer behiot tekufas hayoma miot tekufos beis. So tekufas three months. So the minority of tekufos is six months. Miot yom and beis, and the least amount of is two days. But tamtin mashahu wait a little bit. But tinasim bechim mol shleisha chadashim. Livdika, and then what you can do is when the three months go by, then you can check to see uh, to see if she actually is pregnant. So Omar Safra in Boyd Kness and Asua Shalati Skal Balehan. In all these situations, we're not going to examine a woman after she's married, and therefore we're not going to say, Oh, you won't let them get married, then afterwards will be Boydik. No, we're not going to do a Badika after she's married. Uh, so it says Why don't we examine her footprints? It says Rashi Malich Naisa Ba'afar Tichayach Imu Berasi Puriseha Nikaros. Her steps are visible. U Mamikois Yoiser Mishar Nashim, and the steps are a little bit deeper than other women. Shavlad Machvida, because a, a Vlad is heavier and weighs her down. But Sasi B'Shuvas and Goinim. So there was a way actually looking at the footprints, whether or not she was pregnant. So Armin Barchama Isha Machapa Atzma, a woman will hide her pregnancy potentially. Says Rashi Shulati Ra'em Uberes Kedishu Yavinu Shaben Harishan Hu to make sure that they don't think it's from the first husband. V'Yirish Menexi Bala Sheni Kedish Yirish Menol Menexi Bala. So this way they'll be able to inherit from the second husband because otherwise. If she hides her pregnancy, she she is in fact pregnant to the first man, then that child will not get anything. So hey, the kimlo and the mubaris. If let's say we know for sure that she's pregnant, he did not say. Then we should say let her get married immediately. You cannot marry um, a pregnant or nursing woman. If you did this, we say you have to leave that marriage and you can never come back. So why not? Well, Chayra, if you know for sure, it shouldn't be a problem. It's possible that she may, and it may end up happening that this child will, will die. Says Rashi, Hechen, fine. Uh, so ihachi dide nami, the first, the man's own wife also you should say such a thing. Ilman di erba b'moich b'moich, and maybe she will have a cloth to not get pregnant. Ilman der mina shemayim yirachmu mina shemayim, so mina shemayim yirachmu. Hachenami, now we would say the same thing here. Ilman di erba b'moich b'moich, ilman di erba mina shemayim yirachmu mina shemayim yirachmu. Now mishum. Uh, dechot, uh, dechso. Says Rashi, what's dechso? It was happened during the pressure that occurred during the Tashmish. As Rashi says, quoting Gemara later on, So as we said before, maybe the man's own wife also. No, today, Chayas Iluye. When it comes to her, it'll be chayas. And Rashi, she'en adam mischavin l'harik ha'nefesh. Person's not going to have the intention of harming. Ha'chanam yichayas alai. El astamu beres. When it comes to a woman who's normally pregnant, l'menika kaima. She typically is doing this, and she'll eventually nurse that baby. As we continue to membez and membez, dilma i'abra, maybe she'll be pregnant, and her milk will dry out the cutle and then the baby is going to to die of starvation says Rashi um, they'll be able to give this baby food 
eggs and milk. So you did not mean masole but beitz and Why don't we say the same thing with her child that she brings into the marriage? Well, yoyev obal. The second husband is not going to give it because it's not her, not his kid. Vulis bine liyarshim. So maybe the Yarshim will provide. It's possible that this woman is going to be embarrassed to go to a basin and to act for the Yarshim to to help the child and end up the child will end up dying of starvation. Okay. Before we continue the two dots, let's see if we have a question over here. So he said, again, Garen Gioris needs to wait for three months after the conversion, either, again, to show the difference between Zer Shnizr Kedusha and Zer Shnizr Shlob Kedusha, or, as we explained, if she is pregnant and she thinks that Shnizr Kedusha, that she actually conceived while she and her husband were um, Jewish, V'yavim Achavest Ishto, and then the Yavam, the brother's Yavam, the brother will do Yibam uh, in this situation. So again, the problem is that they're going to think that this child really is um, fit for Yibum for, for when he really is not. Okay. Uh, question 14. Why are you not allowed to marry a your friend's woman, wife while she's pregnant? So Rashi says, Dominika Kaima, uh, because she will eventually nurse. Because the Avra that when she gives birth, maybe her milk will dry out. She'll be embarrassed to go to the first husband. The and this child will die of starvation. Okay, that was question. 14. Let's see if there's any other questions before we move on. Um, so why do we say that she has to wait for three months? So it's uh, So he says like this, why do you have to wait three months? Gimel Chadashim Tamtin Shvua just wait a week, and then after three months, Mamisa's Bala Yivdakua Kadera Khanashim O Bahalicha. Um and you'll be able to see if the child is Nikar Havlad, obviously it's from the first husband. So he said, as we said before, we don't do that. We're not going to do a badika on a woman once she's already married, because that's Chotis Gana Albal. We don't want her to be seen inappropriate or uh, repulsive if you will in the eyes of her husband and the footsteps which we used to be able to be baidik also won't work because she may end up uh, hiding herself so that her son will be able to inherit from the second um, from the second man and therefore again it's possible that's why we want to be to, to wait because of this concern that uh, she may end up covering herself her, uh, and also her steps TA25. So the Badik of Chilucha doesn't work because Isha is Machapa Atzma. Okay. Let's see if we have any other questions. Question TB27. Alright, this is the same one we had before. Which is Mahatam Shoyisa Adamu Beres Chavero Maskana. So we just said number 14, and this is TB27 because it's possible that this child can die as her milk will dry out. TB26 Kiddish Achav Kedushi Safik Umeis Madino Chalitza Libum. So this actually we did have before. Ochaletzas omis yavanas. In that situation, you can do chalitza or yibum. Okay. Weiter. So now by the two dots. So even though you would maybe think you could 
um, have the um, waiting period for less than three months, and then to do the Badika afterwards, and that should work if it's two and a half months, all these different possibilities, we don't want to do a Badika after she's married. Achas besulos, achas beulos. Misha says you always have to wait three months. No, I knew besulos, I knew arusos, I knew beulos, I knew nesulos. So what exactly is this mission talking about? So my Yehuda Haki Kemer. Achas besulos, achas beulos. Whether a woman is a virgin or not, the din is as follows. Shinis armalu. If let's say she be, was a widow, oh shinis garshu, or she got divorced, bein min erisin bein nesulin. It doesn't matter if she, her husband died or she got divorced from Erison or Nesuin. Again, even by Erison, we say she still has to wait for three months. Blazer, loy al mid Russia. So Blazer, one day he didn't go to the shul to base matters to learn. Ask Rabasi, he found Rabasi. So Amalei, my yom rabban be mid Russia. What did they say? Amalei hachay yom rabbi Yochan, halacha rabbi Yosi. He said that the halacha is like the sheet of rabbi Yosi. Who's Rabbi Yosi? So we saw in our Mishnah. Rabbi Yosi says. So so we said everyone has to wait for the period of three months. And then we had the Shita of Rabbi Huda that said Hanasuosis Arsu. If let's say she her she her husband died or she got divorced from Arison. So that uh, from the suin, so then we'll allow her to do Arison right away. And if she, if her husband died, was divorced her from Arison, then she can marry right away. Chutzman Harusos Shibihuda. When it comes to Narusim Behuda, because Liba Gaspa, it's possible that they had Tashmish. So they have to always wait even after even after Arison. On this, Rav Yosi Omer Kol Hanashimis Arsu Chutzman Almana. He says all women. You can have them get engaged right away. It doesn't make any difference. You don't have to wait three months. The exception is someone who's in a veilus. Because, uh, except for this woman who is, again, this um, the, an Oman, a widow, because she's in the process of mourning. So we want her to wait. So he said that's the halach is like him, like Rabbi Yossi. So this is where it says, one second. Mechal dechida polgalei. So it's mashma that a yachid is polled with him. In Basanya Harisha Haisa Redufa Wailakabesavia. Let's say she's running to go after um her father's house. We're gonna, we're gonna say Rav Yossi holds that's mutter for Russos to get married. O Shahil O Shahil Kasbe Sbala, she was angry at her, at her husband. O Shahya Bala Khovish Besa Surin, her husband's locked up in a jail. O Shahya Bala Zakin O Khaila, her husband's old or sick. Oh, Shahisa, he chayla, or she was sick. Oh, she pila, or there was a miscarriage. Achar misas bala, oh, Shahisa akara, she was barren. Oh, zakena, oh, katana, oh, islandess, she couldn't have a child because of her age, or of her youth, or the fact that she was deemed as an islandess. Oh, she in royal lay laid, she's not fit to have children. Srikha hantin kimel chadash near a mayor. My mayor says it doesn't make any difference. Even if it's an older woman, even if it's someone who can't have kids, we always require a three month waiting period. Yehuda Matili Ares will you not say Miyad? Rabbi Yehuda says, no, 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 that's not the case. You only have, you're allowed to uh, do Arison, we not say Miyad, and you can get married right away too. So Rabbi Chibur Abba, Chazib Rabbi Yochanan, must be the Rabbi Yochanan retracted. Rabbi Yosef, Yehudabay, if he actually did retract, Mimas Nisan de Karma Hadabay. The Sanya, what is this uh, statement? This Tosef, the Sanya of Shmuel, but no Shu Rabbi Yochman Broyga, Shamatim, and Pichachamim. Be care be yam, the Kuln, Srikha Sahab, the Gimachadashim. So as my fair, they have to wait for three months. So I'm Rabbi Yermil, Rabbi Zreka, Ki Alice, the Committee of Avo. When he came before us, Ramule, he asked the question, Me, I'm Rabbi Yochanan, Halakha Rabbi Yossi. Does he really say with Halakha Rabbi Yossi that an Arusa is allowed to get married without waiting? I'm Rabbi Yochanan, Halakha Stam Mishnah. Tanan kol hanashu inasu, vlo yisar, so ad shi ulehem shlesha chadashim. You have to wait three months. Halakha Rabbi Yossi, Halakha Rabbi Yossi. So this is a Stam Mishnah, so Lachaira, that's not the case. So Amule, the Ramulach, Halakha Rabbi Yossi. 
So the one who asks this question isn't very concerned literally of his flower. In other words, he's not really, says Rashi, Lamashu who taiche, now when she grinds, he's obviously not very careful with his his words. Why? Stop, because what is this a case of? Stop, the ain stop. When you have a case of a stam, and then you have a machlokas afterwards, uh, even though there was a stam mishnah, so you ask of Yochanan, Lachar is a stam mishnah, but we don't hold like that stam mishnah, because it's a stam yachach machlokas. If you have a Mishnah, which was a Machlokas between two people, and then the next Mishnah later on only mentions that one party, so Halacha Stam. Obviously, it was decided the Halacha is like him. However, Stam Yachach Machlokas and Halacha Stam. If let's say there was one opinion, all of a sudden the Machlokas pops up with this topic, so then then itself shows the Halacha is not like him. So he was uh, leaning on uh, his shoulders. And he was plucking and going to, uh, regarding learning halacha. He asked a question. What is the din if first you have a machlokas and then you have a stam? So he said usually halacha is a stam mishnah. So omelay halacha stam. Allah is like the Stam Mishnah. No Stam Yachar Machlokas Ma'ay. So Malay in Allah Stam. Stam of the Masnisin. So fine. Now here's a little bit more tricky. What if you have a Stam of the Masnisin, which the Mishnah says explicit, one person, who Machlokas Bebrisa Ma'ay. So Malay Halach Stam. So in that situation, it's the Stam. The Mishnah. The Mishnah is stronger. So therefore, if you have a Stam Mishnah, so we possibly the Stam Mishnah. Machlokas Masnisin Stam Bebrisa Ma'ay. What if you have a machlokas in the Mishnah, but there's a stam in the Brisa? Do we pass in like the stam in that situation because you have a Brisa supporting one person? So Malay, as we continue, Mem Gimel the Chi Rebbe Loshana, Rebbe didn't learn it. Says Rashi, Rebbe should see the rest of Mishnah Loshina. He didn't teach it. Rav Chia Menaynlo. So Rav Chia, his student, had it. Where did he get that from? So when Rav Chia, who is his student, is uh, someone who uh, codified the, the Brisa. So the question is, if it's not in the Mishnah, so then why would you think that we should listen to the, to the Brisa? And therefore, if it's a Stam Brisa, but a Machlokas in the Mishnah, it does not mean we're going to pass it like the Brisa. In fact, we won't. Okay, we'll stop here. Let's see if there's another question. Adkan.